we'll actually send our magic link by email then I mentioned in the last part that we were going to do something like send magic link and this just means that we can very nicely and easily chain this on it just makes sense so let's implement this method so the method here send magic link will obviously be on that trait because uh, again we're keeping this nice and flexible if we want to use this for other models so in here then we can just very quickly create this so send magic link now what we're also going to do is accept an array of options in and essentially these options are just going to be what we can tack on to the query string when we send the uh, actual email off and this is important because what we're going to be able to do then is say things like remember and then be able to grab if the user has checked the remember box so in this case we would do this request has remember and this would be a true or a false value depending on whether they've actually selected that and of course as well what we want to do is also append onto the query string the user's email and we know that we have that user so we can just do the following now the reason we're doing this here and not just doing it say inside of here is because what this means is that you can add anything else on that you need to it just makes it a little bit easier to do so so this is what we're going to be doing here and then over in our magically authenticatable trait in here we can start to think about how that we're going to send this off now all we're literally going to do in here is use the mail facade to send an email but of course we need to generate an email first now to do this within laravel we can say php artisan make mail and we're going to call this magic login requested and we can go ahead and start to fill this in so this will generate a mail folder with that in there and kind of now we need to think about what we're going to accept into this email so we know that we probably need to send through the user so we can extract any information from them and that will allow us to in turn then get the token that's associated with them and also that list of options as well so the way that we do this just to define out the way that we send email first of all because we're using a trait now we're just going to say to this and then we're going to say send and this is a new magic login requested class and then into this we're going to pass in this and we're going to pass in the options as well so let's just pull in the mail facade up here and let's also pull in that mail so use app mail magic login requested and we can now move over to this accept them to in and then start to send this off so we get a user in here and we get a list of options so let's go ahead and set these so this user set that to that user and then of course do the same for the options as well so up here we can set them in properties so user options and now down here we can start to figure out the view that we're going to do what we need to pass through to the view and all of that other stuff so the subject first of all so we'll start with something a little bit easier this is just going to be something like your magic login link and then the view is going to be something like email.auth.magic.link so that's uh, keeping the directory structure nice and tidy in case we add, need to add anything else so let's go into views we don't have an email folder so let's create that let's also create an auth folder this could just be if you wanted to uh, email anything else to do with auth you could do it in there but in our case we're going to have a separate magic link uh, folder which does seem a little bit overkill but i like to do this so it's nice and tidy uh, from the get-go and then in here we can just create that link.blade.php file so your magic link is and we'll leave it at that just for now so lastly let's just make sure that we pull in our app user model just in there because remember we're type painting it in here and we now need to think about sending email so if we just come over to our MailTrap account if you don't have a MailTrap account go ahead and sign up we're going to create an inbox here we're going to set this up in laravel it's just a fake email inbox just to allow us to very easily send and test email safely so i'm going to create an inbox called fresh and when i come over to this i will have a username and a password that i can uh, go ahead and put into my environment file now laravel is pretty much all set up to use MailTrap. you can see that the host here is set to mailtrap.io we just need to replace in the username and password and we're pretty much done so very very simple to get going testing these kind of things okay so now that we've done this then let's go over submit this with our email address 
and we should receive an email. So let's go over and there we go, your magic login link. And obviously we don't have any link at the moment, but you get the idea, it's all working. Okay, so now we need to think about what we're gonna be sending through to this view. Now what we need to do is send through the actual link. We're gonna build up the URL within here rather than having to do it in the view because it will get a little bit messy. So in here, I'm just gonna say that the link is going to use a method called build link. We can implement that just inside of this mail class. So let's create that build link method. And all this will do is it will return a URL because we use that to build up a full URL within Laravel. It will be slash login slash magic. And we haven't actually set up a route for this yet, but it will be X here will be the actual token, which will then be able to look up in the database using root model binding. So let's just for now, implement this it won't work because the view uh, the root doesn't exist and the controller method doesn't exist but this is basically how we're going to validate the token so all we need to do here is say this user token and then the token column value and that's it now we need to append on the query string and remember that we have these options passed through now this is an array and in fact i'm going to type in that up there so we can use a PHP function called HTTP build query. And all we need to do is pass through this options. This will basically take an array and it will construct a query string for us. Simple as that. So now we should actually have the link in there. The last thing we need to do is just update this just here. So in here, we can create an anchor. Inside of here, we can output the link. And then in the href, we can output the link as well. And obviously you can make these look as pretty as you want. And they just need to be variables like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test this again. So let's send the magic link. We should get back an actual link now. And there we go. So we've got fresh.app8000, which is obviously what I'm using here. Login slash magic, then the token. So a huge long token. Then remember equals zero because we didn't check remember and then my email address. So we can test this again by just going and checking remember me, hitting this, coming over here, and we should see remember equals one. So we can use that when we actually manually authenticate the user to see if they want to be remembered or not. So now that we've actually sent the link, obviously this isn't gonna work at the moment, but before we start to validate it, let's end this part by just redirecting the user and showing a friendly message. So we're gonna come over to our controller because this is where we're gonna handle this from. Over in here, under auth, magic login controller. And just here, we just wanna redirect back and go ahead and display a flash message to the user. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm just gonna say return redirect to, and I'm gonna implement a property which allows us to very easily control where we want to be redirected back to uh, when we are or when we have requested a link. So I'm just gonna create a protected property up here called redirect on requested. You don't need to do this, but I prefer to keep everything like this at the top, just makes a little bit more sense. And this is just gonna be login slash magic. So now we can just say that when they have requested the link, we're gonna to redirect to this redirect on requested. And then we're gonna implement some very, very basic flash messaging. So I'm gonna say with success and i'm going to set this to we've sent you a magic link like so okay so now uh this obviously won't show anything at the moment so we can just very very quickly update our templates to actually show this now obviously at the moment what's going to happen is when i go ahead and actually request something like so it redirects us back here so what we can then do is show a little message up here to say that the link has been requested so to very quickly set this up, then we are going to come over to our layouts, over to app, and down here, just before our content, we're gonna implement a little container that's gonna show our flash messages. So this is really basic flash messaging functionality, but you can go ahead and you know integrate this with what you already have or implement something a little bit more robust. So we're gonna have a eight column layout here, and we are going to offset this by two. This will just match the container that we have within content. And then inside of here, we just want to include some kind of partial. So we're gonna say layouts.partials, and then we can create some kind of notifications partial. 
So under layout, so let's create that partials folder. And in here, let's create that underscore notifications.blade.php partial. So inside of here then, to do this very basically, we're just gonna say if session success, so this is just Laravel session helper, then we can just show a flash message. So in this case, we're just gonna have say a class of alert, and we can go ahead and give this a class of alert success. And in here, we just want to output the value from the session success. So remember, if we just head over to our magic login controller, this here will be picked up here, and then it will show this with that value. So now we can go ahead and enter an email address, hit send magic link, and that should redirect us and say, we've sent you a magic link. So we'll leave it at that because we've again covered quite a bit here, but now we're in a good position to go ahead and implement the route for this to validate the token along with the email address and obviously go ahead and sign the user in with the remember value that they've chosen.